Welcome to Lecture Online. In order to understand exponential functions better, let's do some examples. And here's one, one example where we can keep track of bacteria growth using exponential functions. So, let's say that we have a problem that asks, uh, or that says the following, an initial population of bacteria grows by either doubling every hour or tripling every hour. In each case, what would be the population after 12 hours? So we need an equation using an exponential function to calculate that. For the case where we double every hour, the equation would be as follows. The number, as a function of time, will be equal to the initial number that we have times 2 raised to the t power. Now t would be the number of hours and 2 would be the base. That's because we're dealing with the population doubling every hour. If we go to part b, where we want to triple every hour, the equation looks as follows. The number of bacteria as a function of time will be equal to the initial amount times 3 raised to the t power because we're tripling every hour. Now let's go ahead and put in some numbers to see what happens. So n, when time is equal to 1 hour, is equal to the initial amount, which we started with 1,000, times 2 raised to the first power, so that would be 2 times 1,000, which would be 2,000. And here, when the time is now 2 hours, start with initial amount of 1,000 times 2 raised to the second power, 2 to the second power is 4, that would be equal to 4,000. You can see that it doubles after another hour. And when time is equal to 3, is equal to 1,000 times 2 raised to the third power, 2 to the third power is 8, 8 times 1,000 is 8,000, and again, you can see that the population doubled. So what would it be after 12 hours? Well, n. And so now our example, when we have t equals 12, so after 12 hours, we have 1,000 times 2 raised to the 12th power. And for that, we're going to need a calculator. So let's take 2 raised to the 12th power. Ooh, let me try it again. 2 raised to the 12th power. That would be 4,096 times 1,000. That would be 4 million and 96,000 bacteria. All right, so that's the case where the population doubles every hour. What about when it triples every hour? Well, here we can see that n, when time is equal to one hour, is equal to 1,000, the initial population, times three raised to the first power, that would be equal to 3,000. And n, when time is equal to two, that's after two hours, is 1,000 times 3 raised to the second power, that would be 9 times 1,000, or 9,000. You can see that 9,000 is 3 times as much as 3,000. So n, when time is equal to 3, is equal to 1,000 times 3 to the third power, which is 27, that would be 27,000. Notice 27,000 is 3 times 9,000. So it works out really nicely. And finally, let's say that the time is equal to 12 hours, that's equal to 1,000, times 3 to the 12th power, and again we need a calculator for that. So 3 raised to the 12th power, wow, that's equal to 531,441. If we multiply it times 1,000, and we get a population of 5,314,000. Whoa, whoa, I'll take that back. Yeah, 531 million. Hmm, I'm not reading my calculator correctly. Let me do this again. It would be three zeros, 531 million, 531 million, 441 thousand. Wow, so that would be the population after 12 hours if it triples every hour versus doubling every hour. Notice a huge difference. 4 million, 531 million. Just, that's the power of exponential functions. That's how that works.